Welcome guys to another episode of Gem Plays. Hey guys, before we start, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you also give a like to this video and share it with your loved ones. We appreciate all the love and support. Let's jump right into the video. What's up guys, Gem Plays here. Today we are back with another Legends of Venary video. And today we are going to share with you some tips and tricks you can learn while playing this game if we do pick you as a scholar. Remember, this video and the video before this are giveaway videos so make sure you watch both videos to the end so you know how to win yourself a scholarship for Legends of Venary. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. Before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as hit that like button and share with your loved ones. We appreciate all the love and support. Thank you guys so much for that. Alright, first up, before you can play Legends of Venary, our first pointer is that you need to check the link down in the description below. This is how you can sign up for a Legends of Venary account to play. So how then do you start? So you will need to enter your email as well as the username, agree to their terms and conditions, create the account. Once that is done, you'll be entering into something that looks like that. You would first need to have a pass to play and a pass will be required to be activated so make sure when you are getting a pass you will need to ask the manager for the link here that they can send it to you so that you can play it otherwise you will not be able to do so all right so what are some tips and tricks that I can give to you guys? First up, when you start the game as a new player, you will only have 20 energy. So the reason why I have 45 is because I have leveled up quite a bit. But just take note, at the start, you will have 20 energies, 5,000 gold and 20 auras. Tip number one, set up your account. Know that you will have 20 energy, 5,000 gold and 20 auras. All right, next up, we have the levels. So under the levels, you have two levels. One is the account level. That is not very important. The other is the world level, tactile level. And that is the more important one. So the goal for you in the early stages is to get to level seven as soon as possible. And why is that so? First up, you need to know that your energy regens, you gain one energy every five minutes. And so in the first three levels or in the first three maps, it costs you two energies to catch a venery. However, from Lyria all the way to Groves as well as Runes, it requires you 10 energy to catch a venery. We also then have the mountains, which also is 10 and eventually you will need 25 energy to catch a venary. As you can see, there are a lot of worlds to discover all the way down to Feast of Elsai. So why do you want to be level seven in the world? This is because you can start progressing to catch tier twos and tier threes venary. So with that, let me give you some tips and tricks to reach level seven fast so that you can get your tier two and tier three venary. So first up, you need to know that tier two and tier three venary actually has a limit to how many you can catch. What do I mean by that? Let me just show it to you. So say for example, this uh, Vespi here. So really cute little guy. If you scroll down, you'll see that there is a Genesis batch. Now, if you are catching a new venary and it's the first hundred to be caught, there will be a number by its side. So if let's say you are the first person to catch this Vespi, it will be a Genesis batch and then a number one here. So what other things you need to take note? As of now, Vespi has 161,000 in population. So tier two and tier three will have limited. And once you have catch all of it, it will disappear. So say for example, a tier three might have 2000 of it. And once you catch all 2000, it will disappear for good for some venary. Whereas some venary will come back every other season once the season period is over. There is also a element and a constellation which will help in future as they progress into a battle only game so you will know that all these things will matter in time to come but for now just take note that the faster you get to level 7 and go catch those tier 2 and tier 3s you will have more tier 2 and tier 3 venary which are limited edition so to speak also why is it important to go for the tier 2 and tier 3 venary because in future there is a marketplace where you could sell and trade your venary so the more rare a venary you can get the higher its value for you to trade and sell so this will be an added income for you guys who are scholars out there 
Alright, so now that we mentioned that you need to be a world level 7 before you can go to catch the tier 2s and tier 3s, how do you differentiate what is a tier 2 and what is a tier 3? So if you notice by the side of the name, if you see here, it's a green dot. So green dot is tier 1, blue dot is tier 2, and purple dot is tier 3. So as you go down to the tiers, it gets more rare. So green is tier 1, it's the most common. Blue is tier 2, it's the rare. And purple is the T3, which is the most rare. So you want to get as many T3 as possible because this is not financial advice, so make sure you do your own research. But I believe that tier 3s will have higher sale value as well as higher battle potential when they come into the fight or the battle mode. So that is how you can tell the different tiers from one another and know that this is how it helps you guys. Another tip that I can give you guys is this. Okay, when you guys first start, you will start in the city of Tactile. So just take note that to go to certain place, you need to pay gold, but for now you don't need to. So some of these I have not unlocked, so that's why. But just take note that at the start, what you want to do is not to waste your gold. You want to accumulate as much gold as possible. And if you were to spend on buying anything, just use your gold to buy Aurea and never let it go below 30 Aurea. So maybe you could get like 20 to 30 Aurea at the start and just use this to farm your Venary until you hit level 7. Because what you really want are those tier 2 and tier 3 Venary. So when you buy this, there is some discount depending on what kind of pass you have. For my pass, it's a 5% discount. And if I were to buy this, usually I would just buy 30 of the Aurea to make sure I always have a constant supply. There are of course other food as well and the more expensive the food is, the higher you can catch a Venary. As you can see here, it is, uh, it is grey, blue and then red. So you can catch as many of them as you want depending. But for the start, just to hit level 7, I would say just use Aurea because it's the most cost saving for yourself because you might buy all these other food and be able to catch higher venary but because at the start you do not have much power to catch them or much success rate to catch them so you might lose a lot of money buying high quality food but not catching venaries to cover back your cost and only get aurea at least 30 or 20 of them before you get to level 7 so once you hit level 7 you can do whatever you need to get the venaries you want. So another tip to give you guys is once you reach level 4 or 5 if I'm not wrong, you can go over to Liria and Liria is the other place that has a shop. Okay, Liria is the other place that has a shop where you can buy rigs. Now these rigs are better because they help you catch the venaries easier and they can be upgraded later on. So make sure you save up enough because you need about 15,000 to buy all 3 of them and this increases your chance to catch a Venary. Alright, so that's one of the tips, okay? So when you're at the start, just get Aurea, save up on your goal so that when you reach level 4 or 5, you could go to Lyria and buy the Wigs and have enough money to buy all of them and continue farming with Aurea to level 7. Now another tip you can know is that once you unlock these maps, alright, one thing I did not know that really hindered my growth is that I only stay at one map and keep farming. But what you can do is at the start to just save your money and energy because from Lyria onwards, you need 10 energy to catch a Venary, is to go to each of these city. So you can go to city of Tekta and place a bait, let it run and proceed to glowing forest, place another bait, let it run, and then tactile slums and place another bait here to have Venary show up. So just take note Venary only shows up on these squares. So once it is maxed out or when your bait has been cooked down, no new Venary will show up. So by doing so, you are saving time because you could just check on all the bits. So if you can see here, I have 4 plays, which I have placed a bit. Usually, I only put on Lyria when I don't have much time in the day to play the game and I'm just trying to drain 
and I'm just trying to drain the energy. But if not, I'll spend most of my time in this tree place and just keep catching a venery. So now that I have some venery showing up, let me just show you another trick is this. When you come here, you will only start with makeshift rig until you can buy the other tree. And this tree helps to capture the venery faster. And in this case, against this Vespi, usually I will use the play rig. You do not need to equip a bit because using a bit will cause you to lose one bit after this battle. And it is much better not to use a bit at all because most of the venery at the start don't require you to use a bit. Most of the time, it is the tier 2 and tier 3 venery that requires you to use a bit to catch them. So if we start expedition, as I mentioned in my previous video, there are three things we can do to capture a venery. And out of the three, each round will have a chance for you to try, which actually gives it a better score. The higher the score, the easier it is to capture a venery. I will leave a link down in the description to the cheat sheet below where you could just check which venery can use what status to catch them. So let me give you an example. In this case, this Vespi, they usually enjoy playing. So if I click play, you will see that there is a star, a green one. The next one is also a play. There are three turns for you to attract them to you so you can catch them. So imagine in the second star, which is the second turn, even though I know it's play and I decide to press fight, you will see that a red star pop up. This is not a good sign for you. This means that the Venary did not enjoy what you did. So once again, I will press play because I know this Venary does a play option more. If you had three green star, it will be perfect here, making it easier for you to catch. However, if you have three red star, it is still possible for you to catch it, just that the chances are really slim. So let's catch this Venary. So you see, even with one red star, it ran away, meaning that giving me three green stars will have a higher chance to catch this venery. And so once again, once that is done, I will set a bit and move on to the next city where I could try to catch another one. So same thing, this guy is a play. So for the first seven levels, I don't really care which venery I'm going for. I'm just trying to level up fast so that I can get to the tier two and tier three venery. I hope you guys follow these tips and tricks so that you guys can catch higher tier venery soon. And if this game becomes successful, have a marketplace or even a battle system, you'll be able to earn from the tokens as well as the sales of the venery. All right, so this guy, this Toru, Toroi is a fight guy. So if I were to pick fight, a green star appear, fight again, and another fight. So capture them, set your bait, and get ready to catch again. Now, Legends of Venary is also playable on your mobile. Just use the link that I leave in the description to log in via your mobile, and you'll be able to play on your phone. You do not need to connect any MetaMask to it, which is the great part about playing this game you can just play it on the go on your phone. So these are my tips and tricks for you guys for Legend of Venary. Let me know in the comments did these tips and tricks help you. Also make sure to watch to the end of this video, hit the subscribe button and the like button. This is a giveaway video, we will be looking for scholarships for Legend of Venary. So if you guys are interested, make sure to watch both video so you win yourself a chance to enter into the giveaway. We look forward to seeing your comments and we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! Thank you for watching these videos. Do subscribe for more videos and also check out our suggestions as well as what to watch next in this play to earn space. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye!